In the previous small multiples video, we looked at creating charts to allow us to identify trends in our data. In this video demo, we'll be looking at ways in which we can use small multiples to allow us to find correlations between measures and also to find outliers in our data. So, to insert a small multiple chart, I will click the menu item and choose my connection. Here, we can see the new chart area as well as the designer. I need to choose some members to chart and I'm going to pick the dates for this and I'll go into those at the quarter level. This is a chart for all my data but I want to go into a little more detail so I'll move geography onto columns and I'll pick the children of the top most member. As you can see we now have a warning pop up and also a warning in the bottom left of the chart. This says that some of the charts aren't shown as XLQ by default tries not to squeeze too many charts together. We can change this by going into the chart properties and increasing the limit on the number of charts displayed. Now, the last chart representing the United States is shown and the warning is gone. In this instance, all of my charts are very tall and narrow. As I have nothing selected on rows, I can turn on chart wrapping. Now my charts are spread out over two rows. Each is wider and easier to read, and you will also see that these scales are still shared, so we can still compare between the series. Now, I want to see the relationship between some of my measures. So, if I move measures, you will see that we are currently charting the reseller sales amount, but I would like to see how that relates to something else. The first method is by applying colour coding to the data points. So when I tick this colour box, the colour gradient becomes active and it can be customised. I'm being told I need to pick a hierarchy to get the values from, so I'll move measures down to the values area and then I can pick the reseller sales amount as the value I'll display on the chart and I'm going to use a discount amount to colour code the data. My chart is still displaying the sales amount so the columns are the same height but as you can see two quarters have very large discounts. In this case it's quarter 2 2013 and quarter 3 2014. I can easily change the colour coding for instance to see the tax amount instead. Another useful way of showing the relationship between two measures is to use an XY scatter chart. So I'll change my chart to a standard XY scatter plot and turn off the colour coding. I already have a member on the Y axis, but I need to say what is going to go on the X axis, so I'll pick order count. Now I have a scatter plot for each of my countries and I can see how the sales amount and order amount are related, closely in Australia as opposed to being very spread out in the United States. I can also switch to a bubble plot to add another variable and then each point becomes a bubble representing the tax amount and as always I can switch between measures to get the view of data I'm after. The largest bubble is in the United States and it dwarfs all the others for instance those in the United Kingdom. To get a better look at this, I can drill into the chart and see data just for England and see if there is one point that stands out in the country. If I drill again, I can see split city by city and see that the large data occurs in London. As normal, I can use the back button to get back to my previous charts and I can easily drill into other cities, states, provinces and countries. The last thing we will look at is using dual XY axes. So I'll move measures back to series and we'll go back to the simple column chart we had at the start. We'll also turn off the colour coding. Now if I enter the member selector for measures, we will show the relationship between the sales amount and the order count. So we need to remove discount amount. Now I have separate series for the sales amount and the counts, but as you can see the counts are barely visible as they are so small in comparison. This can be fixed by right clicking on the series in the legend and picking move to other axes. I now have two axes, 
one that goes up into the millions for the amounts and the one that goes into the hundreds for the counts. We can highlight individual series by clicking on them in the legend to make them stand out. So small multiples are a perfect solution for investigating your data and finding patterns and trends, but at the same time being very aesthetically pleasing and easy to read.